Don't get crabby. Here's your look at the Funko It action figure line. This is set four consisting of Pennywise with crab legs, Richie and Eddie. This now marks the third three pack that we've looked at from the folks over at Funko. The first set that we looked at consisted of Pennywise with Bill and Georgie. Then recently we looked at Pennywise with Beverly and Ben. Okay, so before we get a gander on these smaller scaled it figures, let's first figure out how tall the figures stand. Now it's putting the Ultra Measuretron right to the very top of crab legged Pennywise. According to the tape measure, the figure stands about 4 to 4.1 inches in height, which the figure also then stands centimeter wise at 10.5 centimeters tall. We'll switch that right back, switch it right back over, and we'll get ourselves ready to have a look at Richie. Just put the tape measure right to the very top of his head. He's a little bit smaller. I also realized I selected the wrong unit of measurement. So sorry for that. 3.7 inches is Richie. And now last, but certainly not least, we'll switch that over, making sure we got the measurements correct. There we go. We're gonna switch it over then to Eddie. Now Eddie, I think is the same height as Richie. And stopping right there, you're looking at 3.5 inches in height. Once again, to the centimeter fan club out there, centimeters, guys, you're looking at 9.1 centimeters in height. In the accessory department, if you blink, you might miss it. The only accessory that comes included with this particular set is a baseball bat. You can display it with either Richie or Eddie. I'll be more inclined to display it, I think, likely with Richie. Just put that into his hand. Unfortunately, the one sacrifice to these figures is because their arms don't swivel out, uh, he always has the baseball bat kind of tipped forward. Same idea if you have it on this hand as well. You just clip that into place. Uh, the baseball bat is always angled inward, which again is small. It's not a big problem. I mean, it's just something I want to mention. I want to, as at my very best, mention the pros and the cons of really every figure that we look at on this channel. So baseball bat is the only accessory to come included with the figures. I guess in theory, Richie also comes included with a pair of glasses. The glasses do distort his eyes slightly. You can see there is his eyes underneath the glasses. They opted to use, um, they put plastic as the glass for the lenses. It's good because I guess if the frames were just left on their own, they would be very soft and uh, likely would get warped in the process. So unfortunately the trade-off is that they had to put the, the plastic in as the, as the lenses just to keep the glasses intact. As a result of it, though, it does distort his eyes slightly, which I guess is eyes are slightly distorted in the movie, but certainly not to this extent. The head sculpt is actually pretty good all around for this being a smaller rendition of Richie. Um, for his shirt, of course, he's got his little trademark kind of tropical shirt, I guess. It is short sleeved. He's got his shirt underneath it. The shirt is technically a separate piece. But I mean, you wouldn't be able to take it off or anything like that. He's got a pair of kind of olive brown colored pants. A little bit more brown, I guess, than more olive color than uh, brown more than olive color. Anyways, talking about colors here. Uh, he does have shoes. Nice pair of little uh, slip on shoes. I don't know why I felt so the need to bend his knee at the, at the moment. But he does have a pair of uh, slip on black shoes. Peg holes in the undersides of his feet. You can see his socks there as well. I guess I got ahead of myself wanting to talk about his posability, so we'll do that right now. The head rotates all the way around. The arms rotate all the way around. There we go. They also hinge out, which I've mentioned this on occasion. Uh, the reaction figures, which is kind of really where these figures separate themselves from being. Reaction figures don't have, as far as I know, any new additional articulation. Usually they're just swiveled arms. These ones have the bend in the elbow, the bend at the knee, and Again, the arms being able to move out sort of makes them feel like they are a step up from the reaction line. And there is Richie, a decent looking figure. I think before we move on to Eddie, I just want to bring in some of the other figures that we've looked at before. This is the last figure line that we looked at, the last set. There was Ben and there was Beverly. 
And there is Bill right there. I guess that's really the full gang. Well, not the full gang. We're still missing one set. And uh, way off in the corner, way off over here, because he's, he's dead. Over here is uh, Georgie, little tiny, small Georgie. The only set that we are actually still missing, unfortunately, is uh, Stan and Mike. Stan and Mike, and then it's also got the Pennywise that has the wig kind of blowing in front of, in front of his face. Uh, but really a nice little, again, setup of figures. They all look moderately good. Some of them are a little bit better than others. Like the previous set that we looked at, I think Bill and Beverly are the, the, the standouts. Um, ben is a little, you know, Ben doesn't really look too much like Ben and Georgie. I don't think look, looks really much at all like Georgie. I'm going to move those figures out of the way. I'm going to move these figures out of the way because we've already looked at those. Feel free, by the way, guys, if you want to swing on over after this review and check out my older reviews of the previous two sets that we looked at already, feel free. I'm, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, moving on, uh, let's have a look here at Eddie. Eddie, of course, has his little cast on him which has written in there, loser. The S has been changed to a V. Other than the little splotch, unfortunately, on his nose, I, that's not supposed to be there. It's actually a pretty good look. It does look a lot like Eddie. In fact, actually, this set has both figures where they actually look like the characters from the movie. He is sporting also his fanny pack. I would wish some way down the road fanny packs come back in style i've got a fanny pack that i know is just just ankling to get back out back showcased around my waist but i haven't worn it i haven't worn it in a while actually i don't, I don't get why fanny packs just haven't taken off again are they really all that ridiculous anyways we're getting off topic uh, Eddie does have not quite a striped shirt, but more like a striped textured shirt. Nothing is really painted on there other than the red. He's got his watch, a pair of blue jeans, and uh, he got his little pair of sneakers, which has actually a good amount of paint to it for how small these are. Once again, pegs on the undersides of his feet. I talked about this in the other review, in case you guys hadn't seen that. They don't come with display stands, but if you wanted to use, say, for example, the vinyl, something else that's produced by Funko, Vinyl is, by the way, the V-Y. I don't know why I have to write this out with my fingers. V-Y-N-L. Vinyls. Those vinyls. I do enough of those on this channel as well. But you can use actually the same display stands. Uh, they are. They seem to have the exact same peg. And so far from all the figures I've seen, all the figures on this lineup seem to all have the same sized pegs. So just FYI. Posability on Eddie. His head rotates all the way around. Hinges up and down. Back and forth nod. Arms hinge out. You can also rotate the arms all the way around. Bend at the elbow. No rotation, unfortunately, in the forearm. Rotation back and forth on the legs. Unfortunately, you have the old stopping butt point. The butt's not letting the legs to move any further back than that. Kind of the square butt that a lot of the older figures have. Does also have a, uh, a bend at the knee. Uh, both knees bend. And there's Eddie. I have to admit, actually, this set has the best sculpted figures. The other ones, respectively, seem to have, like, one good figure, one eh figure. Um, but I think this set has, like, the best sculpted likenesses, at least of the, of the Losers Club. So let's have a look at Pennywise, which really is a little bit more of a departure than the other Pennywises that we've had before. This is the first one that we had a look at. And then just recently, complete with the arm, there was the other Pennywise. As you can see, there is nothing different between any of them. They share the exact same body, the exact same, well, not the exact same arms, but, and then the heads, of course, are different from one another. I suppose if you wanted to, I haven't ventured into trying to do this, but I guess in theory, you could take the head off the ball joint and replace it to the body that you want to use. I mean, this only is really relevant for, say, the likes of this Pennywise, if you want to replace it to any of the other ones, because you wouldn't obviously replace this head sculpt with this head sculpt, because you would just get this figure reversed around. See how that works? Just like that. Uh, other than that, though, like I said, this figure is exactly the same. The body makeup is exactly the same, other than for the fact that the arms are different. And in the arm category, he gets these giant crab arms. Now, I would have also described these as more spider arms, 
But uh, packaging wise, they call them crab arms. I kind of thought they were more spider arms myself. Um, but uh, I guess they kind of have more of the rigid, kind of the rigid texturing of more of a crab arm than anything else. Has the spots there. The spots are in red. You got a little bit of the pink there as well. This part doesn't hinge. It's really only this part here that bends. This part stays the same. It has no posability whatsoever. Uh, this doesn't also sadly have any posability. It's just this part here that moves up and down. Uh, other than that, like I said, it's nothing different between this Pennywise and the other ones that we had a look at. Uh, posability on this guy, his head rotates technically all the way around. We're going to still have the same problem that we faced before, where the cuff of the collar is sort of preventing the head from rotating all the way around. This, by the way, is a softer plastic utilized here. This is just a regular dense plastic, but a little bit softer here in the skirt. The arms rotate all the way around. You can hinge the arms out. You can bend both of the arms back and forth, there and there. The legs move forward and back, bend at the knee, and uh, no posability once again in the feet. So posability department, they're actually, if you think about it, let me just draw your attention to a thought that you may want to pop into your head. I mean, these figures for as much, I guess, critique that some people have said about them, like why would they even produce these? Uh, their posability is actually pretty good. Their posability has trumped some of the stuff that we've even gotten on store shelves nowadays. Uh, the articulation appears to be much more, uh, much more flexible in what you can do with them versus the reaction lineup of figures. And I, again, I kind of dig these. Um, it's a shame, really, that we got so many Pennywises. I know that seems to be a kind of like the throw-in. You know, for every two new characters, we get ourselves yet another Pennywise. At the very least, it's nice that Funko didn't double dip, triple dip, or quadruple dip to the get to get the exact same Pennywise. In fact, even though technically this is really the only one that is going to be unique to it, every other one, from what I can see, is only really going to just have a brand new head sculpt. But at least that's something. We're not getting the exact same Pennywise with every single release. Interested in picking this set up for yourself, but want to know what the price is? I think when I picked these up at my local comic book store, they were $14.99. So about $15, and of course that lovely tax that everybody loves so much on top of that as well. That works out to be that these figures are about $5 a piece. Now before that seems like that's a lot of money, and why would anybody even consider spending $5 a piece on each of these figures? Just keep in mind again, some of the stuff that's hitting toy store shelves right now, or even some of the movie tie-in figures that we've gotten, have been relegated to, at times, five points of articulation. These ones, I think, have, what, nine points of articulation? So this trumps those other figure lines, and part of my use of trump, but it trumps it by about four additional points of articulation. They're a little bit smaller, but I think that's the charm in these. I like that they're of a smaller scale. Something that I'm sure I said abundantly clear in the previous reviews. Again, I kind of wish that these could have had some vehicles. Bicycles, at the very least. I mean, their posability in their legs is a little bit more limited to what they have in their arms. But at the very least, there should be enough posability to display these guys on bikes. If Funko had only included bikes with these guys. Needless to say, again, if you are interested in picking up these sets for yourself, they should be available now at your local comic book store. And on average, they should be about a $14 to $15 price point for each three-pack. Today, we were having a look at the new Funko It. This was the action figure line, and I believe this was set four, which consisted of Pennywise with crab legs, Richie, and Eddie. If you are doing your math and just calculating this out, if you're keeping track of me, thank you for doing that, by the way. I need people to keep track of me. Uh, the only set that I haven't picked up just yet, I believe, is set three. Each one of these sets have set numbers. The set three did have the Pennywise with the wig, the Stan, and the mic. Those, that was the only other set that I hadn't picked up yet, simply because the comic book store at the time that I got the other ones just didn't have that one. It may have actually come out a little bit later. It may have come out at the same time. I don't know. Either way, if I do manage to find that set, I will pick it up, and I'll, I'll do a review of that one for you guys as well. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to do this guy a solid, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. And certainly, make sure as well, hit that bell notification to guarantee that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.